Settle the wreckage. I'm glad you asked. Oh my god! A hundred card historic brawl. Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage, and we need the Red Source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know there it? There it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis. I've always maintained that Magic is a very skill testing mm. game, indeed. And Charizard James is showing us just how skill based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh no! Uh... If this was the only way Tibble Stricker had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended, Tibble Stricker. Getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with the lolth. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like, if, it, oh, if only it had been something like a lolth, you know? <laughs> Raise the alarm. We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen. My opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then sported out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't look. I can't look. Ow. Man, Valk Valkmir is a problem. Nope. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Why was this five mana? Oh no. It came in top. Oh no. It came in top. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Did we do it? Yes. I attack. Holy shit. I attack. I attack. I attack. Everyone's clenching right now. No. Oh, he lost. He lost. I attacked him. No. No. What? Oh, he lost. Oh no. Okay, I want them to kill this first. So I play this first. And I want these two to, to cast my other spells. <laughs> no. Stop, opponent. Stop it. Please stop. Please stop. Please don't do it to me. Don't cast another land destruction spell. Please no, oh my. Let's go! Not distortion! Ah, uh, yeah! Feel the power of the six mana black sorcery. Not distortion, come forth! I summon the winged dragon of Ra! I was exaggerating. Oh, a royal rush again! Oh my god! Kicker! Face! Oh, double Chandra emblem! Oh, is this. Yes! Oh!
I guess I should just use this anyway. Wait, is this game? <laughs> oh, face damage. Oh, no freaking way. <laughs> All right, give me Scorpion off the top right now. It's just, it's just too good to be true. It's just too good to be true. It's just too good to be true. What the heck, dude? Cheating. They have Fatal Push. I don't care if they have Fatal Push, they're gonna use it now. Oh no, it goes back in the deck! <laughs> no! Oh, if they have Fading Hope, I swear. I'm gonna pay three life and then they're gonna Fading Hope it back to their hand. I'm gonna cry. Okay, I didn't say that. Oh no, I should have played Thalia first! No, I should have played Thalia first! No, don't do it! No! No! The second one got approach. Wait, that still counts as casting, doesn't it? Wait, what? That's the worst possible. <laughs> that doesn't work the right way. Oh my gosh, is this lethal? Oh, please be lethal. Oh my gosh. Is this broken or is this broken? I think we're broken. Oh my gosh, please don't kill my dog. Please don't kill my dog. If they kill my dog, I swear. Can't be blocked. Go 14, 14, dog for lethal. Yes, yes, yes. They're dead. Oh my gosh, wait. They have six cards in deck. Oh my gosh, they mill out. Oh my gosh, we milled them. We milled them from Angel of Suffering. They're dead. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to tilt for Sin Voyage. Let's both tilt together. You ready? All right. When the Wandering Emperor gets cast, we both have to tilt together. I, 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 I trust me. All right. All right, I'm ready. All right, cool. I'm ready too. I'm waiting. Oh, oh my god! My Every god, freaking again. time! So oh my Third god! Emperor? Why do they have the so many wandering cards? emperors? You have to be kidding me! You have uh, you don't have emperor. You top deck emperor against my freaking dragon. Nobody's supposed to emperor my dragon, and then they have another one off the top. I can't play around two in a row. Are you kidding me right now? All right. God. This is. This is. Ooh. I'm not gonna win. I have thirteen cards in my deck. Blended row. <laughs> Reclamation? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. Oh god, I can draw a lot of cards, right? Don't we draw like four cards from this? Or at least three? Oh no. 
All right. Watch this. Infernal Grasp right now. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, I, I did it! Oh, I called it! Oh, I called it! Oh! Watch this. The bolt's trickery off the top. Shaman. I mean, it lets them, like... I'm just gonna plus. Graveyard Trespasser? I needed that. Oh well, there's three more in the deck. If they top deck Grease Fang, then sure, they got me. Why does this always happen to me? What is going on? Holy crap, dude. What is going on? I'm dead on board. They just attacked me. Oh my god. What's wrong with this game? The second time in like four matches. Crap, how do I win now? I'm tired of your secret. And look at there! Yes! Yes! We won! Oh yes! What's up, Jamers? How's it going today? Always good to see ya. We're going to play another deck that made top cut in Dream League 12. <clears throat> we got fourth place, Esper Midrange. But first, let's talk about the sponsors of the stream today. Number one is Ultra Pro. As you know, the standard and safe storage. Get their stuff. They just came out with some orange. Their orange line to, um, recently, and it is awesome. You can save 5% off of Ultra Sleeves by using code DGEN at checkout. Also, you can save 5% on CoolStuffInc.com by using code JAMES5 at checkout in the promo code area. You get 5% off of literally anything in the store. Hard hoarder where you can get all of your magic online needs. Play against your friends for money at TCG Showdown. Untap.gg, get the best deck tracker and meta stats, and even get the overlay that I use on stream right now. Also, you can beef up your MTG Arena, Arena account by using mtgcodes.com. Use code DGEN for 10% off. And also, Rogue Energy, where you can get all of your energy drink needs. Also, a lot of great protein shakes and the like, some hydration stuff, by using code JAMES5 for 20% off there. Also, Without further ado, let's get into the deck that we're playing today. It is Esper Midrange. It got fourth place in our Stream League tournament. And let's start the video. And also, let's start playing the matches. 
What's up, Jamers? It's the one Jame, and today we are playing Esper Midrange. We played an Esper deck recently, the Esper Legendaries deck. So if you haven't caught a chance to get that one, it is amazing. Go ahead and check that one out. It was just a few videos ago, but this time we're gonna be playing the fourth place Dream League 12 tournament. Uh, fourth place placing here, Esper Midrange. This one is a is very different than the Legendaries deck we played against, but Esper is very very strong in this format. There's a different 700 player tournament in Japan that five out of the top eight decks were esper and there are more similar to this this one has a couple cut downs four copies of destroy evil in the main deck this card's becoming one of the most important cards to be playing in white it kills enchantments and also kills cards like shieldred any creature with toughness four or greater that also includes record or bank buster and a lot of other really important cards four copies of Phyrexian missionary not only is it a two men two three lifelink but it also gets our creatures back from the graveyard also one copy of disdainful stroke three make disappears or Tenacious Underdog, Wrecker and Bankbuster, like I already said. Four copies of Wedding Announcement to help play around Invoke Despair and also just be a very good card in general. Kaido Shizuki. Four copies of Rafine Scheming Seer. One Sarah Paragon. Four Wandering Emperor. And two Ao the Dawn Sky. We have four Rafine's Tower. We have a Takanuma and an Odawara and an Iganjo for the, the uh, utility lands. Our sideboard here, if you do play best of three, and let's actually change this screen a little bit just in case. Um, my face is covering some stuff here. Here we go. Um, the, if you do play Blasted Free, the sideboard is cut down, Disdainful Stroke, Graveyard Trespasser, another Kaido, two more Disdainful Strokes. Actually, there's three Disdainful Strokes here. Another Record of Bank Buster, two Unlicensed Hearse, a Cruelty of Gix, and two copies of Beat Hook Massacre. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started into Best of One, and it all starts right now. I'm actually not sure how this deck is going to do in best of one because a lot of the aggressive aggressive deck interactions are in the in the sideboard like the three other copies of disdainful stroke against the, the mono black and control decks and also the meat hook massacres are in the sideboard also but we'll see how this goes we are going to keep this hand Cut down, destroy evil, wandering emperor here. Uh, they're playing a red mana, so let's go ahead and hold up cut down on our first turn of the game here. Perfect. Always a card you want to get rid of. Gratis Fireblade is a card that's played even in mono red decks in older formats. That was a good card to draw here, even though we do have to pay a life for it, but a 2 mana 2 3 lifelink is good against red decks. Plus, they have lightning strike, I guess. Reckless Stormseeker. Um, you know what's cool against Reckless Stormseeker? I get to wait till that has four toughness and turn it to nighttime on purpose. Seems like a thing I want to be doing. That's a cool thing to do against the Stormseeker. I guess this can also kill Kumano, which makes me kind of happy. Whenever it dies, make a treasure. Well, go ahead and destroy this creature. Painful stroke. Whenever it dies, make a treasure. I think I'm just attacking here and just going for first strike. That's fine. I'm also okay with not with not playing a card. Five lands, not really what, what you want to see when you're playing the red deck. Let's see if they have a creature to pump up with Kumano. I'll take I'll take three here. rid of that thing maybe they can burn it that's fine i have wandering ever anyway they had lightning strike the whole time for missionary but did want not want to get rid of the life linker which is interesting I am almost sad to see you go. i 
That is a Thundering Raiju, and that will get Disdainful Stroke. Like, yes, I can't use Wandering Emperor, but what else am I getting to Disdainful Stroke? You know what I mean? Here we go. That was pretty easy. All right, two wins away from Mythic Chat. What are we going to do? Going to throw a party? I think this is kind of a loose keep, but on the play, we get to cast a wedding announcement on Curve, so I think I like that. We're here against Jund midrange. Wedding announcement should help a lot. AO should help a lot. But AO will be a little bit worse against Terra Sunder. So I'm kind of just going to expect that AO gets Terra Sunder, especially since this deck plays like three Terra Sunders. Great Evil is really good against Teachings of the Kirin. But I think I'm just going to get my wedding announcement down first. The Fable. Destroy Evil is good against that too. Make Disappear. Well, there's no way I can potentially draw a... No way I can potentially draw... A land here, so I have to pass. And then we will try to kill Fable the Mirror Breaker whenever we get the option to, if they don't let us make disappear something. They discarded Workshop Workchief, which is interesting. Their tans probably fill with spells. They also discarded a land, so maybe they're just looking for an untapped land. That kind of makes sense. I'm gonna go no blocks here because my 1 1s are gonna pump themselves. And I can 1 for 1 both of these instead of just like 2 for 1 myself by double blocking. Let's see if they play Cruelty of Gix. We do have the, mis the Make Disappear here. Reckoner, Bank Buster. That's fine. This is gonna give us the opportunity to destroy evil something. The Fable. They're really digging for something. We're gonna go ahead and destroy Fable here. Another destroy evil that's not a land, but we do get to pass turn and do the same thing we just did. A little bit unfortunate, but at least this time we can one for one the two twos. It's always good to see the silver lining, right? Yeah, I'm missing a bunch of land drops, but at least we have plays. They are attacking. Go ahead and get our blocks in now. Don't really, don't really feel like dying to their creatures here. Face Soul of Wind Grace. Is there a land in the grave? There are lands in the graveyard. Do we destroy evil this or do we make make it disappear? Make this appear is gonna get a lot worse. Once they like start putting lands into play with Soul of Wind Grace, so I'm just gonna do it now. Put a casualty since they do have the treasure tokens here. And then hopefully I just draw a land. I need I need a land to start playing the game. Whoa! They sacrificed both treasures for a land drop. Wow, this is actually just pretty bad that I don't have anything here. can't just do nothing I, I guess I can st try to stop them with destroy evil for like one more turn before I have to gem wedding announcement or else I just lose but if they have cruelty of gix and they bring back the 
Soul of Wind Grace, then, like, I can still destroy Evil That. Okay, I can destroy Evil That, too. I kind of want to destroy Evil the Record of Bankbuster when it goes to attack. That's a hearse. I don't really care about that. You're just playing all their spells that don't really do anything. Just gonna not do anything. There we go. Wow, finally. <coughs> well, that took way too long. We're gonna just attack with Bankbuster, right? I'm just gonna do this then. Here's my 4-3. Drawing that land was pretty mandatory there. I do want to destroy evil the shieldred. Unleash the Inferno. This is going to also kill my wedding festivity. It's unfortunate. Alright, now I have to kill the Bank Buster here. They are going to exile our underdog. They did not exile our underdog from the graveyard. Very interesting. All right, somehow we're staying alive. All right, I need another land. I guess I can just hold up Emperor. That's a Shieldred. That's a land. Am I supposed to play AO? Probably, but I didn't. They might just not attack with Shieldred because I just passed turn here. I, I actually think I'm dead to... I'm not, actually I'm not dead because of the life gain from Wandering Emperor. That was a good counter on that. Whoa. I'm so dead. They had such a good draw, and I was drawing super dead for like three turns in a row. Doing a survey, do I think Arena's rigged? No. <laughs> What's up, Nuno? Wow, they just have everything, don't they? Literally. Literally everything. What's up, Fabio? Matchmaking, etc. I've been witnessing that. 
Uh, I I don't think anyone knows that, there, that there's a matchmaking algorithm problem, but people can speculate, but I'm not, that nobody knows for sure, so I'm not going to say yes or no. Thanks for your ungaslighting opinion. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go Fruxian Missionary turn two, Wedding Announcement turn three, I think. And I don't know whether I should play Rafine or Wedding Announcement on turn three. Figure that out. Guess guy. I think since they, I guess, could have Rona's Vortex or some other brown spell. I don't really want to discard anything, though, to Rafine. I guess discarding a land is okay. I'll just go for a fiend. Like, what could they possibly have to counter a fiend right now? Or to, like, deal with it with Ward 1 with only one mana up? Like, the only thing they can do right now is deal with the missionary? I guess they could have March? March seems real bad, though them to use. Or they can concede. Alright, I mean, we'll take those every time. Oh, Nuno, by the way, I did the streamer, the, um, sponsor shout-out at the very, very beginning of the stream so that you know where it is today. By the way, if you missed our Orzov Sarah Paragon midrange deck from a couple days ago, it's up on YouTube today. I think this hand's good enough to keep on the draw. It has a lot of interaction. Ardu. Alia. Okay, well, Tenacious Underdog is by far our best draw there. Either that or Bankbuster, probably. No, not even Bankbuster. I think Underdog was, like, legit our best draw of the deck. They can't play Fable with Thalia on board. Riveteer's Requisitioner. Okay, so they're just an aggro deck? BD Ransom thinks it'll follow. I think I'm actually going to give them a treasure. I don't want to get run down. Besides, besides, I don't care if they have a treasure because I make disappear into sample stroke. Hopefully they use the treasure. They really want to play like wedding announcement next turn. Perfect. With the missed land drop too. They hit the land drop. Ooh, Plaza of Heroes. Mardu Legendaries. I love this. I love this card. We're never blocking with this 1-1, one, one, so let's just get in here. What could they possibly have? Like, Cut Down or Infernal Grasp? I guess I don't want to get Infernal Grasp. And Scoop. Nice. One more went away. It seems as though my cards have won me the game.
Ten's okay. It's not like the best ever, but like I have a pretty high likelihood of drawing a land in the next three turns. They also mulliganed. I'm going to play Underdog before Missionary because I don't care as much if Underdog dies. Especially if it gets Lightning Striked. How do I stop having multiple meat hooks in my opening hand? Play less of them. That is a hopeful initiate. We could have a lightning strike. I'm just gonna put the second one down here, I think. No, I, I should probably make disappear. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna hold up make disappear here. This is a world where I'm supposed to play out Tenacious Underdog, but with cut down in my hand and make disappear, I can choose which one I wanna do. They chose to not kill the underdog, which means they probably have Brutal Cathar. Bloodthirsty Adversary. I'm going to use all my mana here and just make disappear this. Good draw. I'm playing out a creature, am I holding up cut down? I think I'm playing out a creature. The only thing I get punished by is like, I don't know, Thundering Raiju, but I can double block that and then cut down this after. Is that the third play with fire? That is terrible. I actually want to Rafine, but I think I'm only attacking with one of these because, I, like, in all honesty, I, I only want to get rid of this Rafine and that's it. We're going to get to a point where you can hold up Wandering Emperor plus cut down, which is really cool. Opponent is definitely playing a throwback deck. Opponent's throwing back to 2022. I don't know whether they just drew this or they were sandbagging it, but like... Nice black mana up. I didn't even really... I didn't even need black mana up. But yes, it definitely did not leave us the ability to leave black mana up. Weren't we tapped out anyway? No, we had the darker waist up. What are we gonna do here? We're definitely playing the land. We're definitely gonna cut down this, and they're probably gonna concede, honestly. I mean I I guess I I guess I probably shouldn't have played the land. We're gonna win the game even without casting this card, but I wanna hold up the same full stroke for Thundering Raiju. And that, my friends, is Mythic Gaming Time. We're Mythic Gamers now. So cool, so fun. Hey, you don't realize 1989. What's up? Delver of Sneakrits. Excuse me?
Now that's what I call jamming. You're not wrong. Hey, if it isn't Delver of Secrets, it doesn't flip. Hopefully they play a, a better card like the werewolf here. Alright. Bell pierce me. Bell pierce, slip out your back. The gate. I just want to get my lifelinker down. Is that too much to ask? Please don't flip, Delver. Please don't flip. Wow, actually cheating. Lifelink's going to mitigate some of this damage. Not going to mitigate much of it because they're going to have two insectile aberrations because Delver's going to flip again. Bitter. I mean, hopefully I can even get to this point in the game where I can cast these things. Oh, please don't flip. Oh my goodness, of course, because why not? Why wouldn't they ever flip this? Roy Evil is so bad against that this deck. Guess I have to try to Wandering Emperor on their upkeep. Or if they, like, try to use a card on my end step. They're not going to. I guess they can Urtai Scorn, and then we can cast Thera Paragon as a flyer. Mono Blue's full tilt. It's actually okay to play against. Like, I know the play patterns. I know how to play against it. It's just a matter of, like, does my spells line up correctly? Like, they cast Urtai Scorn, which means they're probably not casting anything else. And then hopefully we get to resolve Sarah Paragon. We're, we're definitely dead next turn if we don't resolve it. But, like, you know, such is life. Especially considering... We draw multiple destroy evils against the deck that it's literally unplayable against. You only get mono blue when you play no removal ramp. Well, that's your fault from like no removal ramp, Denrial. Are they actually going to bounce this to be in range of killing me? They, they will, and they're going to exile a third for discovery. Am I supposed to make disappear this? No, I'm supposed to just cast my Sarah Paragon. And then hope to live. They draw a bounce spell or another swirl. They win. Please don't discard a basic land. Discard two cards. Dang it. We took like three damage from Painlands. What? We, honestly, do you think that was us losing the game, or do you think that was unlucky? I think that was unlucky. They drew. They they top deck the. Free, what are they doing? Get get out of here. Oh no, I have no time for you. They top decked Thirst for Discovery into a basic land plus Fading Hope. What's up, Mike? We took like what? Three total damage from Painlands? No, 
was also us playing four. I know, I know, Motomania. I, you know, I have no clue why. Maybe it's a mono blue thing. All right, shakedown heavy. We are so dead. You know what's good, chat? Lands. How's it going? It's going uh, about as well as you can think of when your opponent has a lot of good spells against your missing land drops. So far, that's like the only way we've lost is missing our land drops for the most part. Like, this, if we hit our lands on curve, we win. This is ridiculous. Another turn to turn the corner and not. We were going to have seven life if they didn't. We were going to have seven life if they didn't, uh, Marshall Swirling missed our lifelinker. I wonder if they flipped this. Nope. I have to give him more draws, but I think I have to destroy evil to Senrika. I have to hope they flip the thing. Because we have no way to kill it if we don't. I guess we can draw an exactly untap land and Wandering Emperor, but... You can always stop the Shakedown Heavy from attacking. Blitz Underdog. And we're dead. Like, if we took three damage from Painlands and they have the March of Swirling Mist then they still kill us in the same amount of turns because we're unable to gain the life and we they we we would have been at what three more life which means we would have been at i guess we would have had one more we would have had one more turn right never mind Underdog, turn two, let's go. Canyon. Oh, I hate to see that. Restoration of Iganjo deck. Announcement. That's a good card.
All right. A lot of draws, but also a lot of lands. Borrowed freaking time. Okay, so they are a Elspeth Resplendent deck. They're playing black mana. What's up, Tokyo Gringo? How's it going today? Another borrow time. Well, I guess my opponent has all the answers. Domain in the deck? Probably. Cobwebs and dark corners. Should have kept the destroy evil. Uh I guess. I didn't I I discarded that before they even played the wedding announcement, right? Or maybe that was right afterwards. I don't think I'm supposed to know they're playing double borrowed time. But yes, looking back on it with 100% hindsight glasses, Moipaz, I definitely should have kept the Destroy Evil, but there's three more in my deck anyway. Oh uh, yeah, they're probably a Zer deck now. And their enchantments are going to get Hexproof and be beefy. We're not going to be able to kill them with Wandering Emperor. It's all right. We can use Wandering Emperor as an aggro tool. Borrow time on Tenacious Underdog. Interesting that they didn't borrow time wedding festivity, but maybe they just think they have a blocker anyway. There's a destroy evil. So are we destroying evil the Rafine? Probably not. I would like to connive here, but... I think we, we can just afford not to. Since they're like almost dead. We hook for three. I think that's the play. And they're almost dead now, unless they have like another borrow time.
Is welding announcement good and standard? I don't know. Is it? Two on this side, two on that side? <laughs> Hopefully they don't draw Elspeth Resplendent right here. Oh, they're a Hallowed Haunting deck. Are there any creatures in here? Nope. I mean... I'm gonna keep doing this. Like, their stuff doesn't have indestructible or first strike. Opponent just learned that Emperor gives first strike. They didn't keep the land in hand to discard? Incredibly interesting. What? Sure. Mythic lines. The opponent got kind of lucky. That they top deck the land, a card that they did not want to discard, because they played that land last turn instead of holding it to discard. Levadora, thanks for the follow. They're dead? Interesting. Bad dad joke, don't mind if I do. All right, you ready? I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. Nacious underpants. I don't like that. You almost got married in Brazil in 2008? Isn't that like the dream? Unlicensed hurt me. Yikes. Alright, opponent, can you not have everything again? I think I'll do this just because it's a better blocker. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more.
Can you stop messing with my Rafine, please? Not bad? Oh, yeah, I actually sing. Nobody's supposed to know that. Am I going to do the qualifier? No, I don't play sealed. I only play sealed on pre-releases. It is very fun, though, but it's like... It's like my sealed fix. I only even like... I only like doing it. Pre-release. Yeah, I don't tell anyone. 118 people didn't just see that. Wow, opponent. Casting sword and the Mirthless right around my make disappear. Unfortunate. What? Okay, I was going to say. Alright, here is where we... Announce our wedding. And then make their next spell disappear. Hopefully it's like a good spell. Playing Mech Hanger is so freaking weird. Would you be offended if I still card your Charizard? No. I would not. I would love for my opponent to draw Invoke Despair right now and cast it. That's that's much better than Invoke Despair. Holy crap. That kills Rafine. Oh, they messed up. They messed up. They're going to cast Invoke Despair and get countered. They, they, they messed up so much. Unless they don't have Invoke Despair and they just want to use their freaking Mech Hanger. That was really weird. My opponent just punt the game. I have to hope they don't just cast a good spell here, right? I can't hold on, make disappear, unfortunately. Don't draw a good spell. That's a meat hook massacre. Doesn't kill me. They can meet up for four, though. Pretty bad for me. He spoke bad Spanish. He only spoke Portuguese. He'd be very good with language. I uh, uh, learned eventually, and I wanted to look after my brothers and sisters. Oh no, ghetto. Top seven. Alright, here we go. You ready? Are you ready for two creatures, please? Two creatures, please? Thank you. Not only does this kill this, it gets me out of range of dying to hearse. What's one more grudge? lands this is how they're gonna crew this isn't it I don't want to do this but I think it's necessary
drawing lens galore here. Wait, so this is not game. Oh, so you're saying I have a turn? Did they just not catch the fact that I have lifelink? Now all I need is Wandering Emperor and I'm like back in the game. Unfortunately, Missionary can't get us anything here. But, whatever. Wow! All right, opponent, you can calm down now. Our opponent has a lot of draw power. They have Shakedown Heavy and Opportunist. Are they just, like, not playing it in Invoke Despair? I really wish I could use that Ganjo on this. Uh, what can I draw here? I have no clue. I can draw, like, Sarah Paragon is probably my best draw. Alright. I'll take another missionary. I can kick this twice, right? This is called staying alive. English is way harder than German. That's interesting. I can imagine English is so hard to learn. Like, I've learned a very teensy-weensy bit of Italian and a lot, a lot, a lot of Spanish. And those languages are much easier to learn. supposed to double block shakedown heavy if I double block shakedown heavy I kind of have to double block shakedown heavy right or else I'm like dead I guess they can have a removal spell would suck what what's weird though is I get to keep returning these missionaries over and over again I'm almost dead. They remove their own creature, I'm dead. Cut down. This card is really, really good. Gonna kill myself. I realize I could have attacked there and then did that, but I'm just super net to meat hook.
Like, there's no point. It, that, that was so many draws with so much damage, like... You say true English has no rules? <laughs> Alright, underdog here. That was a really good draw. Am I supposed to Rafine or am I supposed to wedding announcement? Probably Rafine. Probably have the domain card. That is Zer. Do I destroy evil? And they're dead. Your great grandmother only spoke Cajun French. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what that is. Rafine is really cool. Fancy of you to notice. We've played, we've won six matches in a total time span of 19 minutes. That's like a record or something. What three mana play do they have, Liliana? Gonna try to make this appear, Soren. Heroes downfall yourself. I'm down. That means you're looking for a land drop? Wait, what? I have no clue what that was. Maybe they were trading Hero's Downfall for a different card. Not blocking because I want to attack them. Make disappearing this because eventually I'm not going to be able to make disappear anything.
Alright, I could get Invoke Despair here. It would be unfortunate if they have Cut Down and Invoke Despair. Getting Meat Hook for four? Okay, that's fine. Land meat hook for five. There it is. Black cards are silly? Oh, I'm aware. Also, this card's surprisingly good. Rexian Missionary? Dang it, they're going to get rid of our, our underdog and drain us. I mean, if we if we use the underdog, they could die. They could actually die, right? No, they can't die, right? Oh, if we use underdog and we draw, we use underdog and we draw um, wandering emperor, and they don't have a removal spell. Going for it. Dang. I wish this was Valor Stance. That was a very powerful draw. Badge. It's fine. Okay, so I win. Do I win? Bounce Graveyard 
Trespasser. If I bounce an underdog. Oh my gosh, am I just dead? Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Gosh, they just didn't cast anything that I could do with these. I guess I should have Odawara. Odawara did Trespasser with Rafine on board. Bounce Trespasser before attackers doesn't do anything. It's three to bounce. Meat Hook Massacre by itself has killed us, like, two games. I had two mana open two legendaries on board, but how am I supposed to know I was going to die? Like, I drew Disdainful Stroke for turn. I drew Disdainful Stroke for turn, so I'm like, oh, all I, all I have to do is Disdainful Stroke and make disappear. Or Disdainful Stroke and, and kill their thing. But they just didn't cast anything that could get Disdainful Stroke. Like, I expected them to cast Invoke Despair. Could have won that game. All right. Crap. Think they're dead though? There we go. I feel like all the games we're winning, we're winning in like three minutes. There's no like, you know, long grindy games that we're actually winning.
Number 350 Mythic. I don't like giving them draws. Funny how I kill that, plus I want like another one already. This is a really obvious Emperor, but like, hopefully my opponent doesn't realize. Plus they have a Counterspell. Please don't Disdainful Stroker make disappear this. That is so unfortunate. So dead. I'm not even gonna give them time to think about it. Playing the long grinding games, you want Shieldred? I think I want another Sarah Paragon. I could have negate or make disappear, but I'm gonna make them have have make disappear here. Of course, they had it. Why not? Spell Pierce? Nope. It could have uh, cut down. Feel the energy of battle, then guide it like water. Rona's Vortex. Give me the untap land. Thank you. Good 
gonna do is to play around spell pierce Means they're playing Sarah Paragon. I'm gonna try to draw a card to play around Wandering Emperor. I guess that kind of does. I mean, they can only Emperor one thing. That's also pretty bad for me if they do that. Let's just do this. Or tie. That's pretty bad for me. I think I'm attacking. Like, it's value for me, but I have to kill them before they do really good stuff. Infernal Grasp, my underdog. Deal. And scoop. Nice. The, the Literally, I'm winning these games so fast, but the games that go longer, I'm losing. Which is like only against Mono Black. Yo, Ray, thanks for coming back for seven months. Appreciate you. Welcome back to Jametown. I've played 25 minutes of wins total. I go first. Okay, I have underdog, so I keep. Set a timer and concede if you go over the time. Exactly. That's what I should do. Do you have any yard hate like a hearse? No. Patchwork. Whoa. Excuse me? one paragon and one shielder for their grindy wins uh, i think in those grindy matchups like we do our best to kill them and if we can't we just lose but best of three you can definitely beat the grindy matchups by having four disdainful strokes in the deck and stuff like that reinforced ronin are we just dead we're probably dead oh they're gonna try to kill us but we gotta kill them first they also have lifelink Oh, that's such a cool interaction. Ronan puts itself back to hand and an anvil says when something's removed from the board. Leaves the battlefield. Oh, that's such a good that's a, that's such a cool interaction. My goodness. We we're getting out meme chat. Oh, I don't like curtain standard standard rotation meta. I like it. I like it a lot. This was the plan the whole time to do this. And we are just going to try to kill them. Even though it's probably not gonna happen. We have two life linkers. And an Odawara and a Dream. Weatherlight. Oh, I'm so dead. Wait, is this game? Is 
Can they make a can they make a creature out of nowhere? The answer is no. They could have gained a life. No, it's not it's not sorcery speed, it's instant speed. They could have gained a life, but I don't think it mattered since I had four damage of lifelink every turn. By the way, chat, if we get to 191 subs, I know it's a weird number, but trust me, if we get to 191 subs this month in the next, what, 14 days, I will start getting the Weird Jamming t-shirts for everybody. I'm not going to give them to you, but, you know, I'm going to start making them. Underdog Wars. Liliana of the Snail. Enough with the mysteries. I've come to right, give me a wedding announcement. Sacrifices must be made. Never didn't have it, Jack. Our right, opponent is on the freaking busted curve if opponent busts out a freaking invoke despair next turn yikes the third wandering emperor you've got to be kidding me i'm so dead i'm so dead She's wandering into our hands. You are not wrong. They didn't plus Liliana. That means her hand's insane. Hopefully I don't die. You are not much of a roadblock. It's no fun when they hit back. No, oh, I actually had it. the fourth one oops no plays nothing to see here Wouldn't be surprised if I drew the fifth. Me neither, somehow. See you later. Guards, to me. I'm 
don't want to get meat hooked. So I guess I'm just going to draw a card. How about I take zero? This can't get Emperor. Turn a creature from grave to hand. ECG, thanks for the follow. You just want to draw? I can't blitz underdog because if I do, I die to Shieldred. And I can't attack either because then they just crew the Bankbuster. The only way I can Wandering Emperor to kill the Bankbuster is if I blitz underdog. And I can't afford to do that. Well, this is interesting. I'm not overconfident. You're just under the moon. Remember your training. Well, I did it there because they have Liliana. Good draw. A lot of lifelink going on here. They milled a meat hook, which is good for us. At back Soren. Can't do anything about that. Fight for me now. The 
missionary is weird because like everything just dies to meat hook I'm gonna get this I do this. Thorin's guaranteed to die. But if they have a removal spell they, for the missionary, they kill me. But they don't because I have Emperor. If they block it in, in a weird way, I can just Emperor give first strike. I don't I don't want to do that because I already have an Emperor here, but Darkness I return. Might be one of the grinding games that we can win. Inquestors are grinding us out, though. Unfortunately, we have to use our other Emperor here. Wow, they know I have, we have Emperor, so they didn't attack. Wow. We are drawing a lot of lands. But we also can't attack because the Bankbusters are there. Can I attack with my 4-3? Probably not. Because they have the Blitz Underdog there. Do they want me to use Emperor here to plus? Kills their Bank Buster, but like... Oh, I get to kill their pilot? Holy moly. That is so good for me. if they can beat this Emperor. Yeah, they could have Meat Hook. We haven't drawn our Destroy Evils yet, right? We've drawn like zero Destroy Evils. They didn't attack. I love this opponent. More lands. 
I know. Hey, look, we finally get rewarded by attacking. Now what are we attacking with? You're afraid of me killing my own emperor. That's weird, I know, right? So... I want to go Kaido, but do I want to attack? If I am going to attack, I want to attack with thing that has four power. So, do I want another 2-2, or do I want a 4-4 Vigilance eventually? I think the way our opponent is acting towards our uh, towards our attacks, we should definitely just keep attacking. Because if they're not going to attack us, all we need to do is attack them. Exile pilot to gain two, then they can't crew. Uh, exile the pilot. X is five. Exile the pilot with what? With Emperor? I mean, they can still crew with Underdog. I might just be dead. The Meat Hook Massacre. Crap. Meat Hook Massacre kills me every time. It's so annoying. I have counter spells, it's just like they're most of them are post sideboard. They finally can look at destroy evil as soon as it doesn't matter. All right, so they're going to attack us. The only thing that kills us here is a graveyard trespasser in their hand. We can destroy evil the meat hook massacre.
strike fast and strike hard. They have to block, but then they're just gonna crew. We're gonna crew the trespasser. They weren't dead, right? No. Now this is a juicy secret. Well, that's good for me. Full transfer back there, Soren. Deal. I guess now that I have lifelink. And they have a flyer that kills me. They don't have lethal trespasser because if they attack with trespasser, I wandering emperor it and gain two more life. If I draw cut, have I used all my cut downs? Haven't. Worth drawing. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. That's super insane. And I guess I just have to hope they don't have a removal spell. They probably do. No? They block this. Only five? So I can I four on blockable, it's not lethal because they can block this to this. And then that's not lethal.
Yeah, but I still have to play around a removal spell. They have three cards in hand and five mana. Oh, yes. This beats another meat hook. Yes! Wow. This one emperor <laughs> kept us alive for so long. Escaspada, thanks for the follow. We should have said your go at the end there. I think they threw. They were they were way too scared of the Emperor. That is a Thalia. That is really good and against me right now. All right, let's draw an untapped land. It's not it, but it's pretty good. Yo, James, do you occasionally do best of three content or exclusive best of one now? I do best of th best of one for you two, best of three for myself and for you guys. But while I'm recording YouTube content, I always do best of one. Wow, Adeline's so good against Rexion Missionary. I mean, it's it's good for me. The so 1K RCQ it versus Games in Oviedo tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, let's see. Can destroy evil the Adeline or cast for Fiend? Probably just cast for Fiend's better because they might not want to attack with Adeline anyway. We'll say brutal Cathar, I guess. Are you going RMB? Oh, this is the easiest double. This is the easiest block of my life. I guess they could have Emperor, but that doesn't help this situation. They're gonna, they can't. They can't actually cast Emperor because they have Thalia. Well, that was by far the best possible for me. Holy crap! That attack was so bad. Okay, they get to get rid of our underdog. I don't care about that. Missionary has looked stupidly great. You're not wrong. It is stupidly great. Fraction Specialist.
bringing back hopeful initiate. I will make... They're going to attack their 1-1s into my 2-3 lifelinker all game. Is Valorous Dance even still in this format? Drawing now because if I if I draw a two drop, I can cast it. Second Adeline. They're realizing that if they attack, I'm gaining life every time. That is interesting. What is going on? Opponent, what the heck is happening? I'm so confused. I actually forgot to block. Oh, they have a Ganjo. But they but they can't it, Oh yeah, they have a Ganjo. They can they can they have a legendary so they can use it. Sure. That is a lot of lands. Holy freaking crap. Now they have an emperor. not falling for that. Mr. Fuma thinks of the follow. Another Igonjo off the top! Come on! What the heck? Another land! I can't make this up. Can't make this up. You can never bring yourself to put more than one in my builds. I only put more than one in my in my builds that have like infinite legendaries. Like the Esper Legendary has like the Esper Legendaries deck has two copies of each of those lands. Because they're always like one or two mana. Every time. I'm actually not going to kill their Adeline here because I don't want them to kill my wedding out my wedding festivity with that card. Using life as a resource here. Voice of the Blessed. What is going on? I guess they have lifelink. Another land? You are kidding me. You are kidding me. I know you're kidding me.
Wow. Freaking finally. It's about time. Bring the action. Oh gosh, is this white? Okay, it's colorless. Woo! Another land. I would have never guessed. That is a cut down. One, two, three, six. Oh, they're blown out. Oh, they're blown out by cut down. Let's freaking go. Please overblock this. Please block this. Please try to kill it. Oh, no, they didn't. That's sad. Sad. This block has cost me two life. There's a chance that I could have got a ganjo anyway, but yes. Oh, that's why they had the life gain. three cards I love how Rafine can discard things that you can bring back with Sarah Paragon so you don't mind discarding stuff that's pretty sweet This card from left to right. Look at Shiba. Oh, yeah. They're realizing if they block the missionary, they lose. Math is for blockers. 6, 10, 11, 12. 12 damage. Boom, boom, boom. I'm at 15 life. I play wedding announcement. I pass. Second cut down. Let's freaking go. Yeah. I'd have cut down that Sun Gold Sentinel immediately before it can Coven protect, but at this point it hardly matters. They can't Coven. They only have um, two creatures with different powers. 
And I can always cut down this in response to them casting the spell that would give them a different power. Yeah, I think I'd prefer... Honestly, I think I'd prefer like two Paragons and two AOs and cut something else, but... Yeah, Missionary gets him back from the yard. Yeah, Missionary got our AO back from the yard once. AO can't be Emperor, yep. Paragon can. Well, I mean, if I'm scared of Emperor, I just don't attack with Paragon, right? So a lot of our games we won by just casting a bunch of Phyrexian Missionaries and Tenacious Underdogs. And I kind of wish I had more, more counter spells. But, like, it is best of one and the only thing we're losing out... We're only thing, the only matchup we're losing by not having a bunch of counter spells. Branch Black Blackgram, thanks for the raid! What is up? I'm just, I'm just going over the, the recap of this deck for YouTube and then we'll play a few... Um, a couple best of three matches as well. Not playing Shieldred's a mistake. Probably. There probably should be one Shieldred, one Graveyard Trespasser in this deck in the final list, but this is the list that got fourth place in my tournament. Leo Saint. Hexy. Thank you very much for coming over. My name's The One James. If you haven't seen me before, what is up? We do Standard Best of One and Explorer Best of Three. Some Standard Best of Three as well on the channel. Charles also a YouTube channel if you want to follow the YouTube as well. Leo Saint, thanks for the follow. Esper is very, very PogChamp. All right, so let's go over the deck. All right, Jamers, thanks for hanging out and witnessing this fourth place deck from the tournament. Uh, we did very, very good. We have almost a 70% win rate. Thank you for catching the, the games. If I had to change anything of this deck, for me, just me personally, I'd pr for best of one, this is definitely good for best of three. For best of one, maybe I cut one of the AOs and cut one of the Wandering Emperors. And I would probably main deck one Graveyard Trespasser and one Shieldred if I had to change anything. I guess maybe maybe get rid of like one Destroy Evil for an, another Make Disappear. But for best of three, you definitely bring those Disdainful Strokes in against Mono Black. And you definitely bring all the Graveyard Trespassers in against any deck that has a problem getting rid of it. And, or also any deck that utilizes their Graveyard. So anyways, I like this deck a lot. Thank you for hanging out. As always, in the description is the deck list if you want to uh, copy it and try it for yourself. Anyways, check out this video right over here if you want to see more from me. And, as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more standard best of one content. And like the video if you want to see this video reach more people. Thank you for that. And I'll see you next time. And as always, peace. Let's go. Let's play a couple best of threes. Grancher Glam, thanks for the follow. Um, play some best three with this and see how it goes. By the way, if you if you're an Orzov slash Mardu aficionado, you can check out my YouTube where I have all, where I have those decks on there and are so good. Terra Paragon is like my favorite card. So good. I will keep this hand indeed. Also, for those of you that like podcasts, I run a podcast called uh, the Nuts and Bolts podcast on YouTube. And also it's at Nuts and Bolts pod on Twitter. That is a Reckoner Bank Buster. It is about um, Pioneer, Best of Three, and Standard. That's a good opportunity to play Wedding Announcement. Have I played any Archangel of Wrath? Yes, I did it on my very most recent video. And it was very good. The title of it is Sarah Paragon is Broken. And there is a picture of Sarah Paragon and an Archangel of Wrath in the thumbnail. 
Am I supposed to just pa am I supposed to just attack and pass here? Probably. I need to draw land, so I might as well attack with both. Thinking of doing some explorer games anytime soon? Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely do some explorer sometime soon. That's the land I needed. Go ahead and do a little tenacious underdog action here. We have the counter spell back up. We got a flame bless bolt actually. Bolted surge, sure. Given to the Dominary Collector Box today, got a Frexian Alt Children. Oh my goodness. How much is that? Orbs Appraiser. That's too good right now. Please don't spell pierce me. Fifty, but didn't pull any legends. Unfortunate. All right, opponent, can you please play and invoke to spare? Lokanar, not be countered. Hopefully, they don't have a mate disappear with that other, with that treasure. Probably do. They do. I did used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, they can't kill anything with this, right? Draw a card, lose two, gain two, deal three to a creature, Planeswalker, and exile it. Right, Evil, that's like the actual most perfect card right now. I still play Yu-Gi-Oh! in tournaments like sometimes. Not as much anymore, though. Discarding Emperor is like a really big sign that I have another one, but whatever. Yo, Tarantula Golem, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. What made, what made me switch to magic? Um, a lot to do with Arena, a lot to do with how my LGS Cool Stuff Inc. did their tournaments. Their tournament, they did the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament and the Magic tournament at the same time, and I was getting into Arena at the same time, so I wanted to practice more in tournaments in Magic for Arena. A Sulkanar. I am okay with that being on the battlefield. So I just started playing in the Magic tournaments, and then just like never went back to Yu-Gi-Oh! really. I was a professional in Yu-Gi-Oh! though. I traveled around the U.S. playing in tournaments, etc., etc. The double make disappear. Let's grow our Rafine. Have a great rest of your stream, James. Gotta go grab some exercise. Nice to meet you. Alright, sounds good. Thank you for coming by. Disney Lorcana cards to, to play with your daughter. Oh, nice. That, that sounds fun. I don't know why I played that land. 
I don't even know why I discarded the Make Disappear. I thought I needed, I thought I needed this land to cast it. Able, sure. They're not dead, right? I guess they're dead if they can't remove Rafine. Oh, I can't make disappear that. What if I don't actually kill Sulkanar? Well, they have a lot of Sulkanars. Might as well kill it. I think casting this is better than casting Kaido. Actually, casting Kaido is probably better since the 2 2 is unblockable. How could they be dead, Rachel? Golden Argozi. Oh, yeah, that, that flickers their Sulkanar. I'm just not going to block. Yeah, if they didn't bounce for Fiend, they'd be dead. That's the reason why I did it. Do they actually need that treasure? For, like, Voltage Surge or something? They can have double Voltage Surge, I guess. I had to hit three non-lines, non -line, but I already had three non-lines in my hand. I had Emperor, Kaido, and Mate Disappear. Like, they... They probably should have waited for the Knife trigger. To, like, fully resolve before they bounced it. They are at two and thinking. I mean, I have underdog to attack, so I have two lethal attackers. They have to get rid of both. I think they have, they have a second Sulkanar, which was kind of expected. Um, they're going to gain life from this. Oh, and Meat Hook Massacre for two. That doesn't gain life right now. Oh, they're going to deal with three. Oh, that's so smart. That's actually really smart. It's not even salty. That was a good line. All we need to do is... We actually don't even have game right now. Yes, we do. Wait. We don't have game, but we can get rid of the Sulkanar. They are forced to block. And we still have game next turn with Underdog because they're at four. And now we have to kill this. That's unfortunate. They could actually come back in this game. That is really unfortunate. I can't get rid of this or this right now. I 
And I guess I'm going to make something block, but then they're going to bring back their Sulkanar with the Junji. Then I get to destroy Eel the Sokinar, and I guess play Wedding Announcement or Kaido. But they, they die to Reflection or Blood Tithe. Oh, they're blocking with Blood Tithe? Wow. I guess they want to kill my Emperor with the Junji. I mean, Junjin could also bring back the Blood Tithe. I just need to put myself in position to win. Like, this Meat Hook, like, they're going to gain life every time Underdog dies. But I need to destroy Evil in my hand. I'm, I'm just going to Kaido Minus. Best draws like second destroy evil. Now the question is, do I keep my emperor alive? Because destroy evil can also kill reflection, but like, I think I just sacked my emperor here. handed I know something They're getting so much life off Meat Hook. What do I think about Junji and Mile Block? I think it's fine. I think it's way better than it was last format. That's a good draw. I think it's like a, a fine one of. They scooped. Wow. That was a long game. Ugh. They have Corpse Appraisers, Sulkanar. Can I just bring in all my Disdainful Strokes? Bankbuster. Ido, Cruelty, Trespasser. Cut down. I think I have to just aggro them, right?
Ugo, no, no, thanks for the follow. Think Esper's favored? What, because of counter spells? I mean, we both have counter spells. Esper draws more. Got a removal spell. Unfortunate. Yo, what's up, Hazmat? Fortunate that we can't sustain full stroke anything without casting another spell. Or while casting another spell. I would love an untapped land. Perfect. Oh my gosh, they sacked their reflection of Kiki Jiki. Whoa. What? They have another, they have another make disappear? The third copy of it? The gate? They have a third make disappear in their hand. What the heck? Wow, that is just really annoying. I mean, what are the odds they have three make disappears? If this was 60-30, we're in one of the 30%? Probably. I'm gonna stop on your upkeep to Grass Trelly and I skip right to my upkeep? Yeah, because it, the game is just weird like that. I need to draw, like, exactly Emperor. Wow. <laughs> Four lands.
Okay. Well, I guess I'm on the play, so I'm going to try to run them down. I mean, this seems like a good, a good board plan to run them down, though. Maybe I want Kaido. A lot of three drops, though. I think I want every two drop in my deck because I want to get that down under make disappear. It's the three drops in our deck that are gonna get that are gonna get killed by make disappear. Rafine is a little bit worse in the face of Shieldred. Is this everything I love in a deck? Yes. I can answer that for you. I need a two meta creature. All right, there we go. I don't care if I'm gonna miss my land drop. I need the two mana creature or else I'm probably gonna lose. So they probably make disappear our Rufine. So we are going to not cast it. If they remove Phyrexian Missionary with like cut down or something, then I'll cast Rufine, but I don't want to cast it into make disappear. Infernal Grasp. Sure. It's a make disappear off? I know. I hope they don't play Fable, though. I guess I have the Destroy Evil for it, so I kind of... Dang it. Give me a land. There we go. You need a creature there. I guess I can make disappear their thing and then draw a card off Bankbuster. Please, please don't... Don't oh, Spell Pierce. All right. You want to see me streaming a bit? No, I, I, I was just off yesterday. That's it. Yildred? Okay, I can just destroy you for that. No corpse appraiser. Vulcanar. I just destroy, destroy evil that too. Yes. Bankbuster looking real smug. I can add Rafine back with Missionary. Just do this, though. I don't care about Blood Tithe.
They could have um, Voltage Surge for my Bankbuster. But I'm going to make them use it. Uh, six line to missionary plus counter. Well, I have the treasure token. Make disappear with a sacrifice. All right, it gets countered. Unfortunately, meat hook for one doesn't get the stainful stroke. But I can make disappear this. I mean, unless they have their own next counter spell. Wait, what? Did they just pay two for no reason? Oh, I can Odawara back my bank buster. Pretty strong. Oh, they didn't use Voltage Surge last turn. Let's see if they have another one. This is why it's good against mono black post board and decks like this. Because like there's four disdainful strokes in the 75. It just can never resolve anything. And we just beat number 189 mythic. Turn three bank buster? Wasn't it turn four? Because I went I went I went bank buster plus hold up uh something else. Good job being the 189th best player in the world. You're right. I've been the third best player in the world twice. Right now, I'm the 1,332th best player in the world. The tooth best player in the world. Now to beat the reigning hottest mythic player, number 69, so you can claim the title. I know. I'm sweating just thinking about it. You'll get there, Plumbo. You're on Beast Caller. Well, that's going to be a problem for the opponent. I was high on this card at first, but then it's just not as good because everyone's playing cut down. Game took my numbers from, from me. I'm back down to 98. Oh, no. Word that I don't want to cast Rafine because I don't actually want to discard anything. A 
I see for me it was like 450-ish mid-season once. Oh, sick. That's really good, Griven. You, you, you weren't a cut-down believer during spoilers? I'm not in Pioneer, but I am in Standard. The fact that it kills Blood Tide Harvester and Reflection of Kiki Jiki is strong. Uh, it kills Rafine, which is strong. It kills Adeline when there's no other creatures. It's also strong. Uh, it kills just, like, random stuff like this. Uh, Beast Caller Hopeful Initiate. Like, it even kills, like, three mana cards. Destroy Sneevel. Uh, how about I get that back? I would love to cast my Friction Missionary and then assume the Missionary position and to get my Rafine back. Yo, sick destroy your little opponent. Can I go Collected Company? <laughs> oh, this is Ma Matty Arvigo. Isn't he really good? Is he a pro? Wait, is this a YouTuber? Matty Arvigo. He's after office TTV. Nice. Wandering Emperor doesn't help the that thing. Probably have the Emperor. I can't Emperor Fiend though. Let's just do this because if they have Emperor, they're gonna get rid of the missionary. That's fine. I don't want them to get rid of my underdog though. Bought a bunch of lands. Resolute reinforcements. Sometimes can I just surveil? Oh, wow. They could have destroy evil here. But I think I'm okay with them having destroy evil. It would suck if they had it. I really would not like for them to have that card. But I think I'm not playing around it. Yikes. Please don't have it. They have Fateful Absence. Alright. I guess I'm more okay with them having that than Destroy Evil. Well, they don't have time to cast Car Paragon, right? I guess they could. What the heck? Until the what does this do again? Won, we will fight to make it so. Oh, they get vigilance. Pretty cool. Show them the weakness of their flesh. I'll be back.
Let's look over our options before we attack. I think I'm getting in there. Johnny says, how dare you sleep on me? All right, kill Rafine. Oh, I guess that that's killing Rafine. <laughs> they plus a Johnny and get an Emperor. All right. Now they have to have a land drop? And they have a land drop. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess I can't attack. If I draw a removal spell, I win. I don't have many of those, though. Not to deal with that. Painful stroke. That would have been nice. Like eight years ago. Let's do this in cast wedding announcement. Johnny is putting in work. I might just be dead to them top decking Emperor off the Johnny. least wedding festivity their wedding festivity turns on my destroy, destroy evil Fast and strike hard. so if i draw destroy evil i win no i don't because they have resolute reinforcements i just drew destroy evil well that's really unfortunate wow they're like top decking Insane off this Johnny. Rafine, right? Rafine's exiled. Because they exiled it with Emperor. That they drew off the top with the Johnny. Destroy Evil gets rid of the wedding festivity, so that could be a good thing. I mean, I like it too. I should probably kill the wedding festivity. They probably have another Johnny in their in their hand too, because they're gonna minus this. Enemies. 
They all have vigilance. Holy crap. They're making friction they're making me tap out to use friction missionary, which is unfortunate. Just cast a six mana two three life link. Oh, my things block their things pretty well. Besides this four four. Grok, thanks for the five gift subs. I don't know what I can draw here. Straight up nothing. Like, their wandering emperor off the top saved them. I, this isn't, I don't have me hook in the main deck. Yo, Grok, what's up? The game's been awesome. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. I was ahead there until the Johnny happened. But then again, a Johnny had to get like exactly Emperor there, or I won the game. And it got exactly Emperor, so what am I supposed to do? Yeah, Meat Hook is definitely main deckable. It's main deckable in every format, but like. It's more under more okay to have it. Not in the main deck in best of three, but I'd still probably play at least one main deck if I'm playing black mana. Pack a Johnny with Rafine? No, I think my way to win the game, because they were so far ahead, was to hope they didn't hope they didn't uh, have an Emperor. But it could have been right. But they could easily have a second to Johnny there, or have whatever, and go get even farther ahead.
Need to draw lands. Yep, King Darian is a card. And if I destroy the Beast Caller, then they put the counters on King Darian. That was a good draw. Yeah, the portal. Guess I'm casting AO here. Or is it like wedding announcement plus destroy evil or just wandering emperor? If they if they have a Johnny wandering holding up Wander Emperor is so bad. I'm just casting this. At the scoop de doop. Oh, we're good to have make disappear in my deck on the draw. Stops the anointed peacekeeper or whatever. Well, land tap with the portal of planes. Not no white mana. I think you still have to keep this. Just because I have an answer to Peacekeeper and I also have an answer to Wedding Announcement and I also have an answer to a Johnny. And I have the Meat Hook Massacre also and if I draw any white mana, which I have a lot of, it's 18 of them, I can cast... Uh, Best draw on the deck is the Ryome. <laughs> I guess the second underdog is fine. That's white mana. Fiend's Tower is awesome. Oh, I agree.
opponent is a smart one. Might not be able to beat this beast caller. <laughs> Gonna have to draw like uh exactly Emperor. He really, he's really he's really smart. I mean I would expect that from him anyway. I'm gonna play a lifelink dude out. He's gonna play a three mana card now, now that he has freaking knew it. It's really tough playing against good players, chat. <laughs> It's interesting how I had zero peacekeepers in on the play and he's and he still played around it in game three. It's not weird, it's it's just really good. I need a meat hook for three right now. A third underdog? That can't be good. Watch them have another resolute reinforcements. Nope. My dead. My dead with this block. Yes. I'm not dead with this block. I'm just going to do this. God, he's so good. I also have been drawing no lands and he got the five lands to play around and make this appear. Now Wandering Emperor comes down. And I'm dead. I'm, not, I'm actually not dead to Wandering Emperor. Destroy- Oh! 
Wow! Destroy evil their own card and put the counters on it. Oh, sick! I'm not even upset about that. I'm not even upset about that. Wow. Destroy evil your own creature to put the counters on before damage. I am not even upset about that. I also missed infinite land drops in game three, but it's okay. Like, if they don't get to five mana, they can't cast anything because of my counter spell. If, if they get... The only way I lose that, like, definitively, like it happened right there, is if they get to five and then I never draw land. To ever, I could never double spell. It is what it is. That was cool, though. He's not live right now, though. Or else I would raid him. Hello, TV. How's it going? I wasn't gonna win without Rafina. I wasn't gonna win without drawing lands. There was a lot of. There's a lot of ways I lose that. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. I will be back tomorrow. Check out the podcast if you haven't listened to it already. Uh, check out the YouTube channel if you haven't visited already. Um, content coming out on our nuts, on the Nuts and Bolts podcast every single week. Also, uh, at least five days a week, YouTube coming, uh, a new video coming down on YouTube. Check it out. Check me out on Twitter as well if you want to follow up on my day-to-day -day life and, you know, talk to me on there and also check me out on discord so you can talk to us while i'm not on stream have a good rest of your day everybody effie's in chat go follow her as well we're going over to jim davis have a good rest of your day it was a pleasure and as always goose gang out let's go